So, we've got the second fridge freezer hive finished, barring the painting. A quick peek at it, that's where the motor was. I've now actually put the entrances where the motor used to be. That gives a nice overhang on the bottom of the, uh, the hive, stop the entrances getting wet. Still using pipes as I feel that's a lot easier for the bees to defend against wasps and hornets. The actual wasp or hornet would have to travel the length of the pipe which is about 60 mil and will be full up of guard beads. And you go into the main body of the hive. That will hold the equivalent of three brood boxes worth of frames. We've got a little uh, pipe siliconed in place there, going through into the what I'm classing as the overflow hive. And in this side, we've got the equivalent of two brood boxes worth of frames, because they're double the depth of this. As you can see, we've got double after the bottom of the frame, we've got the same space again. So that's approximately five brood frames, uh, five brood boxes rather, of bees. So if you imagine a rose hive, five brood frames thick, I would say that's got to be at least 120,000 bees plus. This bit will get left totally. Bees look after this side themselves, I don't touch it at all. This side is the, uh, the overflow honey where I'm going to pinch honey from if it gets filled up. I've got some uh, little mini corrugated sheeting that I'm going to wrap over the top as a roof just purely because of this join in between the two doors. I've noticed that water does get in because it can fall in there and then sit there and slowly work its way under the magnetic rubber. So we're getting painted green or brown or camouflage so they can go in the woodland they'll have a little piece of uh, corrugate sheeting the mini sheeting bends nicely just held on with a couple of elastic bungees and then basically it'll get left sitting up on some logs or some pallets let the bees do what bees do 